So this is the difference between a civilized country that has free speech, free political speech, so that we can hash out these issues in the open public forum, rather than just keeping it building up inside and then we've got gun deaths and things like that. Absolutely, and that's why it is so important and why we do need to hold on to those values like the First Amendment that protects our political speech rather than, you know, Saudi Arabia is set to execute uh, someone who was a teenager at a protest. And so, you know, that's what happens when we get rid of the First Amendment, things like that. Well, Joy Brayton, thank you so much for joining us. Obviously, this information is key, especially now. And I agree, you know, we need to be having some real discourse about this. Uh, the book is available on Amazon.com. It is Shariaism is Here, The Battle to Control Women and Everyone Else. Joy Brighton with joybrighton.com. Thank you so much. Stick around because we got more news coming up right after this. Qualifications. Rape, murder, awesome and rape. You said rape twice. I like rape. <laughs> Charming. Sign right here. <laughs> Brain force is here. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been on this the last few months. You probably noticed I've been more crazed, more focused, less brain fog, more energy, more special reports, and it's because of brain force. One of the worst things with most energy products is it's not sustainable, right? You're gonna crash, you're gonna feel really bad afterwards. This has a bunch of different antioxidants and compounds and polyphenols. Everybody's on these drugs to knock their brain out because the brain's so fried. We kept changing this formula over and over and over again until it became sort of a grand puzzle. For example, the L-theanine inside of it, that is activated by the different compounds in the yerba mate that we put inside of it as well. This just increases the compounds you already have. This is what you're actually designed to run on. Exactly. It's kind of like a car will run on one form of junkie gas, but it runs really good on what it's designed for. You will find Brain Force, Survival Shield X2, and other game-changing products at InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. Introducing Secret 12, the new InfoWars Life Vitamin B12 formulation. Most forms of vitamin B12 are highly processed and synthetic and could not be properly absorbed by the body. That's why for real results, so many are having to turn to painful B12 injections, which are known to have higher absorption rates. Now, InfoWarsLife.com is excited to announce that we can bring you our most bioactive, powerful form of B12 that has been developed with our exclusive perfected process. Secret 12 is a binary of nutramedical grade, bioavailable coenzyme forms of B12, methylcobalamin, the same kind used in B12 injections, and adenosyl cobalamin. Secret 12 is simply taken by mouth, right on the tongue, and then swallowed. No needles, no injections. Don't take my word for it. Try it for yourself. Discover the secret. Secret 12. Secure your revolutionary Secret 12 formula right now at InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. I was a teenager in the 1980s. The first time I heard of cryo was on a news piece dealing with the Olympics, how the Russians would uh, put their athletes in chambers and then bring it down over 200 degrees below zero. And then I kind of forgot about it. Then about three years ago, my good friend Joe Rogan was visiting town and he said, man, you got to try this cryo thing. I just went over to the first place in the U.S. that had it and tried it. It's amazing. Well, I kind of forgot about that. And then finally, a few weeks ago, was driving by the first cryo. And I went in and started doing it. I love it. And then it clicked. Well, I don't really do stories on sports stuff or fitness so much, but I do report on entrepreneurial ideas, innovations, medical innovation, stuff like that. 
especially if it ties into cultural memes like Star Wars, uh, kind of the global fairy tale narrative that George Lucas designed it to be. Because we do see Han Solo uh, in the 1980 mega hit, Empire Strikes Back, being basically frozen in a carbonite chamber. So I was thinking, did they get that idea from the Russians or did the Russians get that idea from them? Somebody should investigate that. It's an interesting factoid that I don't think we know the answer to. But regardless, they named the whole space-based weapons system to shoot down missiles uh, Star Wars. That influenced Ronald Reagan and others. Uh, if you expand on that now, they are launching whole fleets of ships and whole squadrons of jets and, and, and larger aircraft with high-powered lasers that can vaporize tanks, shoot down missiles, uh, shoot aircraft out of the sky from hundreds of miles away. So Infowars.com is here investigating the link between Cryo and Star Wars The Force Awakens. Is it that life imitates art? Welcome. Oh my gosh. Life is definitely imitating art way too much. Has he arrived? Yes, Larry. He has arrived. This facility is crude, but it should be adequate to freeze this rebel thought criminal. Yes. Yes, Lord. I was just going to do a report on Cryo, uh, talk to the owner. They said it was cool the other day. Is this part of the new Star Wars movie promotion or something? Can I can I still go Cryo and uh, shoot a report with my crew? Is that is that cool? Or, I mean, what is this? Who are you? Yes, please. The chamber is this way. Well, thank you, Mr. Pig Creature. I mean, uh, s sir, uh, Mr. Ugonot. I uh, guess I'll just go on in there and wait for you to come pull the lever for the Carbonite or whatever they, this is kind of scary. Well, I guess it's safe. It kind of feels refreshing, but are you an exchange student? You one of those Syrian refugees, or? I don't. I come from the same world as your president. You know it as Uranus. Was this really important from Russia, or somewhere actually a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away? Hey, creature, <laughs> did you come here on a student visa, or? Are you a refugee from the Galactic War? I don't know, it's kind of hard to figure out. Did the CIA actually start the sectarian wars that brought the Empire in? Oh wait, that was episode three. I, I, oh no, that was, that was Iraq and Syria. I just keep mixing actual reality and Machiavellian stuff with, with fiction. Woo, oh right, thank you so much, Mr. Pink Creature. That was quite the experience, thank you very much. You are free to use any means necessary. Is he undamaged? <laughs> he seemed to, to, to enjoy it. <laughs> All right, folks, we just had some fun. And I was five years old when Star Wars came out in the late 70s. So I know it's a big part of our culture. I like it. It's cheesy. It's fun. But we are going to live up to the title uh, of this video that InfoWars is going to expose and basically leak Star Wars The Force Awakens. No, we're not going to leak to you the plot. We're not going to uh, you know, tell you what happens to Luke Skywalker or Chewbacca. We're going to tell you what the film now is really all about. David Knight's seen it. My crew's seen it. I've read the online synopsis of it. May not even bother seeing it. It is nothing but 110% pure Pentagon propaganda to get women to join the U.S. military. Just this month, the Pentagon came out and said in all combat roles. They also admit it'll basically wreck the military. 
but they're coming in with machines to replace combat troops and to replace pilots, so they want to screw up the military. This is social engineering. Listen, folks, I'm all for women having equal opportunity, but every Hollywood film that comes out that's an action movie or science fiction, the women are all the heroes. They are waging war against gender roles and against the family. You'd think World War III with Russia isn't important because all you hear about is Caitlyn Jenner. This is PC brainwashing. Look at the cover, and you don't have to see the film where all the bad guys, the good guys, the, uh, the heroes, the warriors that no one can beat are women. Really, well, that was the truth. They'd be the top NFL players. They'd be the top boxers. It wouldn't be Muhammad Ali. Uh, it wouldn't be folks in the UFC. It's crazy. Men can't have babies, and women can't carry 100-pound packs on average, statistically. Most men can't perform at that level. It's like women aren't the top long-distance runners in the world up against men. It's black Kenyan men. It's because people and groups are different. We're all humans, but we have different skills. And there is a major agenda to screw up our society, bottom line. Now, David Knight is hosting the show live right now, but he saw it last night, and I wanted just to come in here, because he's about to come off break, and give us his take on the situation. David, you just heard my review of it. Oh, yeah, that's exactly right. That's exactly what you saw. It's pushing this agenda of women in combat. And, of course, the, uh, the key uh, figure in this new Star Wars is female. Uh, even though she's very small, she has essentially uh, physical prowess and ability, not only physical ability, but technical ability, her capabilities to fix machines, to fly planes. I mean, she is the central figure who can do everything. There's nothing that she can't do. Anything you can do, I can do better to the nth degree. But this is really pushing women in combat because that's a key part of this. She is the central figure in an action movie, and they are pushing women in combat very hard through this agenda. David, you're back in about 30 seconds. I'm going to let you get back on. Thank right. you. Sure. David Knight with his son also shot a report that's at Infowars.com. But listen, this is what this comes down to. This is a driven agenda every movie you see. We're not supposed to live in a country where Hollywood's completely controlled with total agenda-driven brainwashing. It's called totalitarianism. It's very, very dangerous. People should look into it. And your culture is freedom and liberty and the planet we're on and all this incredible beauty and mystery. The mystery isn't Star Wars. The mystery is the mystery of life and the universe. This is a false reality, Star Wars and all this, to seduce us into a second life instead of the real life we have. Alex Jones signing off for InfoWars.com. There's a real war going on, and it's not at Star Wars. It's going on for the future of humanity. Because if you're watching this transmission, you are the resistance. Thank you for watching the show tonight. We'll see you again here Monday at 7 p.m. Central. Did you know that only six corporations control 90% of what millions of Americans see, hear, and read every single day? It's the illusion of choice. Think about it. The mainstream media is owned by only a handful of mega corporations with vested interests. But on the other hand, the internet is an interconnected network of billions of sources. So you can research information for yourself from multiple sources, or you can blindly accept what you hear or read in the mainstream media, never questioning what you are being told. This gives you a false sense of reality. I mean, do you actually know what you think you know? Or have you been programmed to accept someone else's version of events? Think about it. Knockout is back. If you want a product that has 10 known ingredients, that naturally get your body to relax, your brain to relax, so you get deep, restful sleep, knockouts it. Infowarslife.com. L-theanine, hops flower extract, lemon balm extract, valerian root extract, chamomile flower extract, L-tryptophan extract, melatonin, and more. All organic, all the natural sources. It's the same price as leading brands of melatonin that are three milligrams a piece. It has three milligram, the standard recommended dose for an adult. It's got the GABA, so it would probably cost $50 to take all this as separate pills. It's $19.95. You take one or two of these, and it just is really clean, restful sleep is what the reviews are. It's what I've experienced. 
and it just synergistically puts everything in there. InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Or call 888-253-3139. You are watching the InfoWars Nightly News, which airs 7 p.m. Central at InfoWarsNews.com. And your support is helping us defend liberty worldwide.